Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and we are two days away from glassing day. So time left, two days, glassing date, 9th of April, May. Um, we are going to go ahead and start getting people ready to get out of here. I think one of the things that I had almost forgot about was our Delta Interceptor. We're going to have Rata take that, so let's have her pick up some meals. I'll just have her pick up like 20. And then we'll load her up in that ship. And we will just have her, like, fly over to one of the, like, rebel bases. Uh, one of the other, like, factions. And just, like, hang out with food. Um, the other thing that we want to do is we wanted to go ahead and... Okay, so contents, you, info, you... Okay, I'm just going to assume you have your meals. Um... So we'll just have you, like, visit there and just, like, sit there for the next couple days. Uh, we wanted to send Asha, Lysandra, and Rad out on a mis mission to kind of, like, retaliate against the Neo-Sith Empire. Um, I think them attacking our colony has given, like, Rad an excuse to head up this mission. Um, and do I just want it to be the three of them? I feel like the three of them could do it. I kind of want to send Belle. Maybe we send Belle and Aaron as well. Um, I think that feels like a good squad. There's plenty of backup. Um, so let's go ahead and get that caravan started. And we'll do this and this. So about five days of caravanning actually. We'll do that, but we're going to have them wait outside because I don't want to manage them attacking a colony while we want to like take a look at ours being glassed so we'll do that and so we said Aaron Rad Asha Lysandra and Belle travel supplies Okay, they're bringing seven days of food. That's great. Go ahead and hit send on them. And then once they are off the map, we'll begin loading the Razor Crest for the last time from, from this base. Oh, and they like hauled it off the map like immediately. Um, okay, we're running low on fuel. Let's um load guess everyone how how much time do we have left 1.8 days actually let's let's do that in the morning i think we'll have enough time because literally we're just like grabbing food and heading out okay it's the day before glassing day and they are doing one final furious load um and if it gets a little too close then we'll just cancel the steal uh that being said they like they don't have much to do so they are all in on it Okay, we are all loaded up. We have 13 hours to abandon base. And we'll just like chill in the mountains as a caravan. Okay, so our situation. We have Renata hanging out down here with this other Imperial faction. We are right here. We're running low on fuel, but it's plenty. Plenty enough to get us by. And then we have our attack caravan heading north over the mountains um, over to the Neo Sith Empire. We have 11 hours. We'll be back then. Okay, we are one hour away. I guess we'll speed things up and see how this goes. Five seconds, three, one. The Star Destroyers have finished arranging into formation above your colony. What, come ne what comes next can only be described as total destruction. The turbo lasers fire down from the sky, creating a web of energy that systematically levels everything in its path. The terrain itself 
seems to buckle and heave as the beam slices through the earth, leaving behind deep crevices and rubble-filled craters. People, vehicles, and even buildings are reduced to nothing more than dust and ash in a matter of seconds. The air itself is superheated by intense energy of the beams, creating a blast wave that can travel for miles. There's no escape from the orbital bombardment. Those caught in its path are instantly vaporized, leaving behind nothing but charred remnants of what was once there. Even underground shelters. Okay, so... So I don't think we could have, like, hid here. Like, under under mountainous roof or whatever. Even underground shelters are no match for the destructive power of the turbo lasers as they cut through the earth like a hot knife through butter. The aftermath of orbital bombardment is a wasteland of destruction. The landscape is unrecognizable, with little more than rubble and ash as far as the eye can see. The air is still thick with the acrid smell of burnt flesh and metal, melting metal. The once thriving colony is now nothing more than a scorched and lifeless husk. Okay. Just like up through it. There's another one. A third one. <laughs> okay. The first one got replaced, but that's like a fourth beam coming down. Fifth. Can we speed this up? Seventh. Sixth. That, like, I'm losing count. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it, like, is there even mountain roof there anymore? There is not. It's like, it destroys everything, including the mountain roof. Okay, we'll just, like, put it on speed two and watch this. It, like, our, like, the whole purpose of this map was, like, natural defenses, and it is, like, not a thing anymore. Area reveal over the place how many are out oh wow oh that looks awesome it's very sad but it's very awesome like my assumption was that we would be able to come back and recover things but like like even like this node of compacted steel it left behind like 19 steel oh no i hear animals getting slaughtered by it oh yeah they're like no what's the temperature oh crap it heats up the whole map it's 215 c outdoors yeah there like there's no way we could have stayed on the map mobile caravan that's fine fire yeah i think what we do is none of this is home zone anymore oh there's like thunder lightning oh my gosh How long, how long does it go on for? Okay, we're gonna like massively speed it up if that works. Speed, like, is it, like, is the intention that like, there's gonna be beams traveling the whole course of the map? Regardless, like, there's no way. We can cancel all these plans. We're not rebuilding any of this. It seems like maybe it's slowing down. Maybe once these beams are done, it will be done. This is, that is wild looking. Carmela gained a Psylink in the caravan. Okay. So there's some props we could deconstruct for steel. There's all kinds of just like scattered steel around the map. Um, 
There's a bunch of steel that we didn't bring with us, right? Zones. We can shrink all these zones. None of that matters anymore. This guy remained intact. Anything else? Oh, we didn't bring an unstable, unstable power cell. I didn't realize. And it, it stayed intact. So we could come get that. There, there was a generator up here, a fusion generator. And it melted into durasteel, I assume. It does not take that much durasteel, so I have no idea where all that durasteel came from. Um, part of the hospital might have survived. Armella's and Harlock's bed survived. Thelka's bed survived. But there is... There's no point to this map, like the defensive reason that we picked it. Um, all the animals died to... Okay, it's down to 20. 20C. That's wild. Okay, so we can go ahead and load this guy. Okay, so we have we have this guy that's ready to go. Let's get out to the world. Let's have you come home. Cross map. Let's have you guys land here. I guess right there. We won't abandon this for now. We'll see if we need to come back and like scavenge any of this steel or if we want to grab that power cell. Like free power is free power, even though it's only like 400 or something, right? Um, you guys, oh, not offer gifts. You guys are going to attack. Okay, well, folks are arriving at our new site. I'm going to start putting plans down. Well, not plans, but, you know, blueprints down. And we will wait for these guys to arrive uh, at Lotecas. Okay, literally, like, our first day waking up in this colony, we get a mechanoid cluster. Um, let's have you guys pop over here. We are, we, this isn't supposed to be a roofed building area, but, um, you know, we have a lot of digging to do. Uh, so we're just kind of like making this a temporary, like, barracks, storage, all that stuff. We have a couple stockpiles going on. Um, and we're getting nutrient paste set up right away because we just, I don't see very many package survival meals. There's 29 left plus whatever is probably in their inventory. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn these plants off and let's see how people are getting down here. Okay, this is all asleep. I think we are, like, Renata, you go away, because I don't think you have a shield belt yet. Everyone else should be fine. Armella, you go away. Um, okay. Okay, let's just, like, move in and take this out. It's pretty small. Keep moving because of this guy. Okay. And we can deconstruct the rest of this. And we've hunted all the muffalo on the map, I think. There are like two that are probably down that need to be finished off. And, and it looks like we've just arrived here at this faction base. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and just like do your thing and we will follow. Let's get in close, maybe? Mm, not that close. Let's, like, take some cover in these trees. OK, 
Okay, this melee guy is coming to us. What's happened to Rad? Someone... What was that? What do you have? A heavy rifle? Flamethrower? You have a flame. Oh, they have flamethrowers. Okay, Rad, can you... Okay, Rad, can you... Are we able to, like, jump out of here? Okay. Let's get you in front of that one. Oh, wow. Those flamethrowers have some range. Let's see if we can take him out. Rad, let's get you jumping again. So we can put the fires out. We'll turn off the search and destroy for him. Force rage. Maybe this guy back here. Oh, if you can. Okay, base destroyed. What does that get us? Relations with the rebel factions and with our enemies improved. Interesting. There's not too many factions left. We didn't start out with very many. Looks like we have some pirates, a couple tribals, but the, we were intentional about having a couple rebel alliance and then these imperial military factions. I'm still hostile with all of them. Recovered a little bit with the rebel alliances. The propaganda put us put us back a bit on some of our enemies here. Okay, all of you can just go through a search and destroy them. And is there anything interesting? Is there anything interesting? Actually, why don't you guys just come down here and take these turrets out? No real loot. Not yet anyway. Just a couple of tiny rooms to go. Go ahead and strip these guys. And they are Sith. Ancient Sith. So for those of you that haven't watched Return of the Sith, um, Rad's parents were Inquisitors looking to kind of become Sith Lords after the fall of Darth Vader. And they stumbled upon a world where all the Ancients factions found in like Ancient Dangers and Crypto Sleep Pods we're all Sith, and they managed to kind of, like, take over the faction. And this is... This was them on this planet. They are no longer here. So we will send these guys home, and Brad will continue hunting them elsewhere. Okay, so... We can carry a bit. Like, smelt some of this stuff down. When we get back up to smelting. Don't need those Dura Fiber suits. Any gold, silver? No. We will take their travel supplies and we will head to our new home. Cool. Uh, so things here are all being run by this fusion reactor, this portable one. Uh, looks like we're not, we're using about like 20% or 25%-ish of the power so we'll need to get some real power up and going at some point there is a geothermal right there we are starting to fill our nutrient paste um so yeah we will we will work through to get this all set up we want to get a comms console down like as soon as we can let me actually like cue that up um so that way we can use our intel intel on on stuff uh, there it is. Um, yeah, we like, we went and grabbed that intel last episode. Um, so let's make sure that we can use it and kind of like continue working through our plots. Anyhow, uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, like, sad that our base got glassed. 
happy to see it though like it's always interesting to see like a new game mechanic um so that was pretty neat i w i know to be extra cautious uh when we start approaching those higher levels of visibility going forward and hopefully we will not glass more of our bases the rest of this playthrough um but uh i'll catch you guys tomorrow until then have a good one bye